Alright, I see what happens with the Septuagint. See, it calls first and second Samuel. Mm -hmm. First, second Kings. Right, right. Instead of Samuel. Right. See, I, I, I heard of that when I was growing up. Right. But I forgot. Right. So, first Kings is really mm -hmm. first Samuel. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So, instead, I got to look in third Kings. Right. But, um, it's kind of odd because they call the images idols, right? Mm -hmm. That's called adding to and taking away from what it said in the Hebrew. Mm -hmm. In the Hebrew, it still called them the gods, right? El He, right? Or El He, right? You're shortchanging the prophets when you change people, Jews, Gentiles, whoever, right? What they said okay. in the Hebrew, okay. even El He, El El He Yisrael, right? Is where you get hey from. But if it's used with the female form or the male, what does that mean? Right. When neither one is God's image. Right. It also don't mean you can take one over the other mm -hmm. and say it's God either. Right. You can't say the male is God's image nor the female. Right. Individually, either because both are in on the planet right. and most creatures are male and female the only difference is in invertebrates like snails or earthworms or certain lizards right. or again reptiles right. where they're the temperature for instance makes a turtle male or female too hot, right. and it'll be a female. Too, if it's colder, it'll be a male. Mm -hmm. Now another problem is, right. like with sea turtles, right. for instance, if it's getting hotter, right. you only produce female turtles. Mm -hmm. You need cooler temperatures for a male, mm -hmm. and that has to do something with the turtle's DNA right. mm -hmm. and how it was designed to reproduce right. like us right. they reproduce similarly to a chicken or a bird right. but we're mammals in a class called primates but there are other primates right now, some think we weren't supposed to intermingle with them. Could that be the tree of the gods that we were supposed to be? Right. Maybe, right? The difference is, right, if you have sex with something that looks like a man, right. but ain't a man, right. it can mess up your DNA. Right. Alien hunters, before you go blaming the aliens, 100% right for viruses and all that right and there could be a reason for the viruses right we're all being good and evil right and that's part of what I'm trying to explain here right now even Paul when dealing with the idol of Diana called her theos like I said right but pluralized right? now when Jesus is speaking to Peter he in John's writing right. he adds an as right? Peter says Phila right? three times Jesus said agape is twice with an A-S. 
Peter may be more for saving males through Jesus than females. Do you understand? Right. But both see him in the eyes of God. Right. You understand? Right. But the problem is a poor man, right. if he has a you, right. is supposed to offer it up for say a trespass offering in ignorance of breaking the commandments of the Lord right. or again for a touching of a dead body right. you're to offer up a female even if you're a leader right. over a man though right. so you can't offer up a ram right. and this is in the first five chapters of Leviticus right. Now, a peace offering could be male or female, for example. Now, the sin offerings, though, normally was male. Right. But Christ ain't, again, a man like other men. Right. Even the winds and rains, even though they hit right. in the storm. Right. Now, I don't know if Jesus was simply knowing the storm would pass and calmly waiting for it in the ship. Right. Which is a simple way to see it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Right. Or if he was married to the woman they brought to him or not. Right. If not, he can't stone her anyway. Keep telling you that. Right. You're not listening. Only one man can stone her, right. her husband. Right. If you're the Messiah, you can't stone her. Right. She's not your wife. Right. To stone her. Right. Or someone ain't listening to the story. Right. And don't understand, adultery is punishable by stone. Right. But if she's not your wife, you have to involve the husband. And if he wasn't there, why is it Jesus does this at all? Right. It's not really. Right. He has to forgive her because she's not his wife. I keep telling you that. Right. And, and tells her to go and send him up. Right. That's a legal thing he cannot do if he's not her husband. What part of that don't you get? Right. Now, if he is her husband, that's a different story. They also got to bring the man right, she was with, right, and go get him. Right. right. That could also explain why their conscience right, was uh, stirred up, right, because they would have to go get the man and bring him to just on the bus. Right. Should not. Right. right. It's spelled Shani or Shanae. Right. Spelled S A E in A Y. So it could be Shanae. Right. But both are to be stoned. The two. The two. Ha Shanae, right. in other words, right. are to be stoned, not one or the other either. Right. If they sin together, they die together. Right. In, in the Lord. In the, Lord. In the Torah. Right. In the law. Right. You can't stone the female without the male, nor the male without the female in the Lord. Right. In other words, if your wife is sick, cheating on me with me, right. and I don't know she's married, right. I'm not making her commit adultery. You are. You <laughs> are. And that's your sin if she is, right. not mine. <laughs> and see, she's cheating on you either before you can cheat on her, or she already thinks you're cheating on her. Because you're accusing her. Right. 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 But you're still to forgive each other. Right. And not judge each other, as he said in Matthew. Right. Or you're not hearing what he's saying. Right. So you either be completely good. Right. And treat each other right to where neither one cheats. Right. <laughs> which is the whole point. Right. And trust each other and love each other. Right. See, love is positive, not positive and negative. Love does not accuse someone 
of cheating on them unless you're doing something wrong yourself. That's what she's gonna think. Right. It's like David and Gwen. Right. I'm trying to date. Right. David has a girlfriend with a baby at home. Right. Now, if I have to bring him somewhere, and he goes into the back room with the girl, mm-hmm. though I don't tell his girlfriend, right. if he don't trust me and tells on himself, right. and then she wants revenge and tries to have sex with me, right. only thing I can do is tell her, well, you gotta be on top. <laughs> Why? It's between her and him anyway, not her, him, and me. Right. I don't even know if they're doing anything. I'm just having to entertain her own daughter. Right. While David's back there with her, and I don't know what they're doing. Right. Me and the daughter are watching TV. Right. And we're not doing nothing. Right. But waiting for them. Right. Now, if he told Gwen himself what happened, right. he couldn't handle it. His own sin. But had he not gone into the back bedroom, Gwen wouldn't want to be with me at all. Right. As well. Only thing is, guess what? I don't know if we ever did anything. I don't go to David's trailer, right, where he's staying in, unless he's there. Right. <laughs> but Gwen can get to me. Right. But I wouldn't go after her. Right. But if she comes to my apartment right. and David told her where I live or whatever right. and she got there somehow that's the only way it can happen. Right. And then she tells me she knows right. or something right. that David's fooling around on her right. and wants to sleep with me. What am I supposed to do? Tell her no? Right. Tell her yes? Right. Tell her I'm not sure but you can be on top if you're sure. Right. Right? Now, I ain't gonna kick her in the head. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And when I'm sparring with David, I'm trying to teach him how to defend himself if he gets in a bad situation. And he did a few times. But that's because he's doing something on the job he's not supposed to do. He's still messing with other women. Right. While he's got a woman at home with a baby. Right. He was messing with some kind of black woman one time, and she set him up, and the dude came at him with a board, right? And uh, tried to mess him up. Right. But he was also supposed to be on the clock. Right. And working for a paint company, like I did. Right. 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 <laughs> anyway. But that's okay. That's water under the bridge. I, I don't know what happened after that. Right. And I'm not trying to get him in trouble. But see, I'm single. He's got a, a girl with a baby at home. Right? right? Or so it seems. Or so it seems. <laughs> but even if she didn't do that, I ain't gonna make her either. Right? That's the whole point. Right? I ain't saying she did or didn't. But if he knows, how can he not? So, in the Hebrew, though, people change things to suit their understanding. Now, why is it calling God El El He Yisar El? Right. And with the idols, uses El He. Right. Yet L is not a man ish. Right. What does that mean, Jews? Yet the idols are male or female in image. Right. Yet you can't worship either or. Right. Is Paul answering that by saying literally the male and female are one in Christ Jesus? And John adds an I S. And changes the spelling of mastos into mastuis. 
right? Phileus, which is the last thing Jesus said to Peter. Love my sheep, Peter. Why the eye? <laughs> it has still associated with feminine things. Now, it could also be tune, T O N, right? Or to us, O U S, right? In the Hebrew, Greek, right? See, in the Septuagint, they also use the word for female breasts. Right. And only the idol in Daniel right. uses Sethos, which is a male's chest. Right. All idols by most kings are like men. Right. That's why David said, they that make them are like unto them. They will perish right. and become dust again. And he's warning them of that. That's why God was against idolatry, Christians. You can't make God male or female, which is why Paul said the male and the female are one in Christ Jesus. Right? And using the generic term for any of us, right? That's male or female. Also, the hermaphrodites, too, right? are actually in the form of Christ. Right? But they don't pop up every day. In 100,000 male and female births, right, or again, 200,000, right, I'm not sure, right, a hermaphrodite might be born. But that's only two uh, right. at the most per 200,000. Three, three hundred thousand. Four, four hundred thousand. Five, five hundred thousand. Six, six hundred thousand. <laughs> right. You see the math. Right. <laughs> so a million would be how many? Ten. Ten. How much would a hundred million be? A hundred. Right. So in 7 billion, right. there are still fewer hermaphrodites to be able to be now, sir. And they don't look like you down there. <laughs> and some doctors operate on them and make them look more female or masculine. It depends on which appears to them right. when they're born. Right. The, this is the hidden gender right. that no one wants to discuss. Right. No matter who you are, where you're at, what profession you're in, even Christians, Jews, or Muslims, right. no one wants to deal with the hermaphrodites. Even if you're transgendered, you're not a hermaphrodite. Right. They're born hermaphrodites. Right. You're born male and wants to become female. Right. Or vice versa. Female and wants to become male. Right. And you have to do something surgically right. to do so. They have it all. <laughs> they have both the penis and the vagina. Right. One's on top, one's on the bottom underneath. Right. The penis. Right. Why is God removing flesh from Adam's side? Right. The fallopian tube of a woman right, is also in her side, both sides. If you have one more rib right. tube than we have now, that means Adam had 13 ribs. Even if hermaphrodites today have 12 like us, right, it's part of the genetic makeup of males and females now, right? But Adam himself would have 13 ribs with both the fallopian tubes and testicles in his body. Why do you need an extra rib, Adam? <laughs> because he had 13 ribs. Right. Well, if you have more to protect down there, right? 
you're gonna need an extra in. Right. And instead of 12, he has 13. Right. That's another thing the Lord dealt with me about a hermaphrodite. Right. When learning about them. Even if human hermaphrodites today still have 12 ribs too. Right. They're not the same as Adam. Right. Before the female was taken out of him. And before the fall on day seven, which he lived 930 years, so you know those days are 24 hour days. They're a thousand, one year, and one day for the first day. Right. Two thousand, two years, and two days for the second day. Three thousand, three years, and three days for the third day. And that's because you add a year, right, for each day. Right. It gets a thousand three, a thousand four, a thousand, right, plus, plus, years, years. Till day six, we're at six thousand six hundred, six years and six days, right? Sixty six. <laughs> still, still, you don't get it, right? And the seventh day was supposed to be seven, seven, seven. Seven thousand years, seven years, and seven days. But within seventy years, we sinned with Satan. Finally, the temple was destroyed in 70 AD. Right. Jesus was there for half that time. And was cut off. Right. And then the temple was destroyed again. Right. Which Daniel said would happen. Right. If you cut off the Messiah of the Hebrews, right, you're cutting off your own worship of the temple. And destroyed your own temple. Right. By rejecting it. Right. <laughs> That's karma, too. What the Buddhists call karma hit you square in the butt, right? right <laughs> and that's caused you sin. And instead of joining your Messiah, you join Rome. Right. You said, let Caesar be our king. Right. And he became your king. Even the Christians couldn't tell Constantine the truth, right? Nor the Orthodox, which is based off of Orthodox Judaism, right? Except for the Ethiopian Orthodox, right? They have the Book of Enoch, right? right. Other canons don't, right? They're telling you something you don't want to hear. That the angels had sex watchers with the daughters of men, right? And corrupted the gene pool until Noah, right. who found grace in the eyes of Yahuwah Elohim. So either follow Yahuwah Elohim or don't. Right. El Elohim eats our ill. And both the male deity is called Elohim. In the field. Why? We're the two from the one. Right. The one is greater than both. Right. That's why Christ alone is our head. Men. Right. He's the head of every man. Right. <laughs> and the male is the head of the female, yes. But then the female is the head of who? The children. The boys and the girls. Until they reach, what, maturity? Between 18 to 25. And then the father is the head of the son, and the mother is the head of the daughter. Until you get married. And we're all under Christ. This is 1 Corinthians 11. And what it really means. That's why the Gnostic called Jesus androgynous. Because Paul is using andro and giddy.
in the Hebrew, in the Greek. In the Greek. That's ish in the shah in the Hebrew. In the Hebrew. Though even in the Hebrew dictionary, they have the word androgynous. Right. Y'all have a good day.